Hi, in today's session, let's try to insert records in bulk by using DB bulk insert connector. In previous session, we have used this DB insert connector to insert a record into the booking table. So we have the insert statement and input parameters. We are reading the information from the input request body. So let's try to insert a new record. Yes, this API is inserting a record into the table by using insert db connector let's see if we have the new record yes we have the newly added record reflecting in the table we have a request body which is an input to the insert query so let's add bulk insert db connector and let's try to execute the same insert query with a different input we already have a database configuration. Input is payload by default. Let's use the existing DB uh, configuration. So we are we have created this configuration to connect to MySQL server in previous session. So let's use the same. And we'll name the connector. This is the insert query where we are reading the input parameters from the payload. So we have the input request body has all the information that is necessary to insert a record so we are extracting the information from the payload and providing it dynamically to the query so let's copy the insert query so we are going to use the same query but with different input so let's remove the insert connector and we have the query here and also we are providing the payload as input so previously we were inserting a single record so it was uh, just key value pair so this time we are going to insert array of records so let's provide the details in the form of array so let's copy the booking information and we'll just change the pnr value okay let's add one more record Okay, we'll change the PNR value. So we have three records. So we have array of records. This is the payload that we are providing uh, as a input parameter. So we have the input payload and we are providing as add as input parameter. So the flow is complete now. We have the listener listening to the request and providing the payload as input for bulk insert. To insert array of records and finally we are building the output payload so and we are giving the complete mule message to the user we will quickly update the path to indicate that we are going to insert records in bulk bulk insert save the details and we'll update the path in the request as well okay we have uh, the records to be inserted so let's see how many records we have. We have eight records currently in the booking table. So we are going to add three more. Let's update the PNR value because we already used this multiple times. Okay, we have the records to be inserted. Okay, let's see if the application is deployed. Yes, application is deployed. So let's execute uh, the bulk insert API. Yes, we are getting success response. And in the payload, we can see that uh, we have uh, the inserted count for all the three records. We inserted three records and we can see the inserted count. And also in the booking table, we can see the uh, newly inserted records. 9, 10th and 11th. These are the newly inserted records. So this way we can provide the array of records to be inserted in bulk. So we have the insert query which is a single SQL statement which is taking array of uh, records to be inserted. We have to make sure we are matching the input, uh, the reference parameter with the input parameter that we are getting. So for example, previously we had a PNR as one of the key. But if we change to different uh, name, there will be mismatch between the referenced parameter in the query and also the input parameter. We get an error. It's saying 
there is a mismatch between the referenced uh, parameter and also the input parameter that we are providing. So here we have a PNR and when we are referencing in the query, it's booking ID. So let's uh, try to fix this by changing the PNR to booking ID. So if the input parameter and also the reference parameter matches, it should work. Yes, it's working. We inserted three more records. Okay, let's see if we have the new records inserted. Yes, we have uh, the exact same records inserted one more time. So this way we have to uh, provide the array of records to be inserted and have to make sure if the reference parameter and also the input parameters are matching. That's it about the bulk insert. Thank you.